Hey everyone, Cody here, and uh, so today's painting is with turquoise, red, gold, and purple, and typical scrape fashion, so nothing really to report there, so, you know, enjoy that while you listen to the sound of my voice. Actually, today I'd like to talk to you about something that I think is pretty fascinating, um, and I submit to you two different ideas on, you know, if you're an entrepreneur or you're an artist or you sell anything, uh, these two different ideas will kind of, I guess these are just some ideas of things that you can use as an entrepreneur, just ways of thinking. Okay. So the first is something from Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, I don't know if you know who he is, but I'm a big fan of his. I, I'm not a fan boy or anything, but I, th I think that yeah, he has a lot of great advice for social media marketing. Um, but ultimately, the one idea I'd like to share is giving with that expectation. And I have found that in following this rule of giving without expectation, you can accomplish a lot of things that giving with expectation wouldn't. So, for example, um, recently I started giving some of my paintings away and they were not the best of the best. I'm not going to lie and say like, oh, I just gave my best paintings away. No, I gave away paintings that I figured I couldn't sell, but at the same time they were still decent pieces that I, would, I was trying to sell or pieces that I had for myself that I just decided I had kind of moved on from, right? And it's funny because as soon as I started to give some of my pieces away, and I'm not advising you to do this, but, uh, you know, when I started giving my pieces away, it really kind of got some traction for people to get interest in my actual pieces that are for sale, and I don't know if it has to do with the fact that people are saying that other people are getting art or if it has to do with just, you know, God or the universe just repaying you for, for giving things away. But really when you, I found that when you give stuff away with no expectation, uh, then it kind of releases you, right? When you give without expectation, it builds uh, a certain kind of bond with the people that you give to. So if you give things away with that expectation, people are kind of, I don't want to say confused, but people are oftentimes, uh, I guess a little, not confused again, but surprised. Yeah, let's say surprised. So I find that people tend to be surprised when you give them something that they weren't expecting, uh, especially if you give them that thing without expecting anything in return. You're like, hey, this is this is for you. You know, just because um, it tends to build a certain kind of bond that you can't get with people who buy things from you. Because when you buy, when you sell an item or when you sell anything to someone else, the expectation is that you will meet or slightly exceed what they purchased. And I think that going above and beyond in a sales relationship is definitely beneficial. I've talked about this a uh, other times, but, uh, but giving without expectation, like without even asking for anything, um, I've found is, I don't know how to explain it, but it, it, it builds a relationship with people in a way that selling things can't. Okay. And I think that there is something to be said, you know, there's a, there's a common, um, now, there's a common idea in sales that if you give something away for free, people don't value it as much as something they buy. And I think that there that is largely true. But at the same time, I think that you can give things away for free without, expect, without, without expecting anything. And it kind of frees you to... Um, make better decisions. Okay. So if you give it that expectation on some of the things that you're doing or, you know, on the things that you set 
to give away, um, then you're not doing things for the wrong reasons. Okay, so I, I guess ultimately that would be the punchline is that when you give things away for free without expectation, it frees you to not do things for the wrong reasons. You see, any time that I wanted to use something as a means to an end, I would kind of shortcut the process, right? I would do as little as possible. I, would, uh, I wouldn't necessarily cut corners, or maybe I didn't, I just didn't notice. But I would do the bare minimum. And if I was just doing things to to make money, like if I was trying to start a business just to make money, or if I was trying to follow um, an idea because I thought it was going to make me money, not because I thoroughly enjoyed it or cared about the outcome other than the money, um, I would just chase things for the wrong reasons, and I wouldn't finish projects, and I would just try to shortcut things, and it didn't benefit me the way that in my head I thought it would. Um, it really just kind of came back to bite me in the end. So when you can give with that expectation, it frees you because if you don't expect anything in turn and you just give out, um, you know, a part of yourself, especially a good part, um, then you just don't care. And when you get to the point where you don't care whether or not something happens with that thing, it, you feel good because if you give it that expectation and nothing happens, then you felt good that you gave something away, that you didn't have to charge for it, that you, you know, that somebody got something for free. And the person or people that receive that thing for free, they'll know, you know, they'll, they'll be excited. They'll, they'll grow closer to you. you now, like recently I gave a painting away and that person and I, you know, we, we talked every now and then, um, through social media, but when I gave it away and they, you know, they got that painting, they were just so excited. And now, you know, we're actually closer now than we were before. And, uh, you know, I obviously have never met them in real life, but it's good to, to be able to talk to that person, uh, as a person. And so the, you know, ultimately you just, you don't want to take shortcuts in what you're doing. If, if you give things away for free, uh, I'm not saying give away all your products for free, but if you can give something away for free, you know, it will, it will help, right? It helps you get traction. And ultimately, this channel is kind of an example of that because I didn't do anything with this channel for a long time where I do things every now and then, but now that I'm actually kind of getting behind it and and just showing people how I make my paintings because for a long time I was really insecure about how I make my paintings. I was like, oh, I, I don't want to show everyone how I make my paintings, then they'll do it. But the truth is, it's not like the paintings I make are super complicated to begin with. I mean, let's be honest. Um, but not only that, it's, uh, it's just the idea of just showing people because I, right now I'm giving you, you know, I'm sh you get to see kind of the behind the scenes of how I make my pieces. It's not super complicated. It's not super exciting even, um, but it's a part of me. You get to see kind of a glimpse, uh, not only into how I make the pieces, but also just kind of the thoughts that run through my head, whether you like it or not. You could always put this video on mute if you wanted. But, uh, so really, it just, you know, but now that I started putting these videos out, uh, I've been gaining traction. I've been getting more subscribers. Not a whole lot, you know, but I'm at, I broke 400, which is more than I can say last year. It, it just crept by, you know, so, you know, we're kind of getting there. Um, and, you know, we're just, I, I've been getting more views and more comments. And, you know, I'm very grateful for everyone's support. And it, by showing you all this, you know, I'm only, I'm giving that away, right? So it may not be, super fancy or super exciting, but it's the best that I've got, you know. So by giving this away, you know, I'm creating that bond with you. I mean, here you are willing to listen to me just kind of rant, right? But you're also getting something out of it. And I'm not charging you for any of this. If you don't want to buy the painting, don't buy it. But if you enjoyed the, the video or you got something out of it, then it was a value to you and you didn't pay anything but a little bit of your time. And I appreciate your time. It matters a lot to me. 
Now, the other idea that I wanted to get to, I don't think I'd have enough time to get to. And that is the idea of being paid for value. So I think that I'll come back to that because I only have about two minutes left and I really, it's really one of my favorite subjects. So somebody remind me to do that video if I don't remind myself. But uh, essentially, I'll just finish up by saying this about giving with that expectation is that <sighs> I don't know how to explain it, but when you do that, it will come back on you in a positive way. Again, I don't know if you believe in God, karma, the universe. I believe in God. You can believe whatever you want. I'm not here to to tell you what to do. Um, but uh, I believe that, you know, everything that you do kind of comes back to you in, in one way or another. And by giving with that expectation, what's nice about that is that when you do that, you're, you're kind of putting a positive thing into the world, right? And if you don't expect anything back, if nothing comes out of it, then you're not upset. You know, you don't hold it. That's not held against you. You don't hold it against yourself and you, you don't have the wrong uh, ambitions towards things. But not only that, I found that any time that I did that, a positive result came out of it. Um, so, like I had a painting that I sold that had a similar style painting um, I had that on my website. And so when the person bought the one painting, I actually just gave them the other one for free. And I was like, hey, you know, I just like surprising people when I can. Here's a free painting. They go together. I'd hate to see them separated. And that person was so elated that they went back and paid for the other one, even though I didn't ask them to because they were so excited. And anytime I've done this where I've, you know, given with that expectation, like a free painting or you know, uh, given free content, it's always kind of come back on me in a positive way. So, you know, when I, it's funny, like right after I gave a painting away, I sold two. And I'm not saying they're necessarily correlated. Could be coincidence, could just be that was the, that was destined to happen. Doesn't matter. But I, I found any time that I've done that, not only did I feel good, but something great came out of it. And it's also very humbling because when you can learn to give things away, without expecting anything in, res in return, it frees you because then it just makes it so that, you know, you can do it easily again and again. And then when you are blessed, you know, it makes you just that much more excited. So I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just telling you that for me, it's it's been positive and I've seen great results. So just a thought. But um, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in another video. Take care.